Welcome back to another video, everyone. I'm here with Mike from Cage Innovation. Today, we're checking out this new charcoal edition Bobcat Plow. Now, he says there's nothing different between these two, but I don't quite buy it. So let's go check this thing out and let's, let's make sure, for you guys, let's make sure. Let's go check it out. All right, so what is different on this? Because we've obviously got these. We all yeah. know these, the blue plows. What's different, besides the color, which I kind of like this gray, it's a good color. Yeah, um, sure. I like it, uh, but what's different? We got logos, this is different, I can see. Uh, but I mean, logos, different color plastics. There's gotta be something else here. Hoses, the hoses are well, different. The, hoses, the hose covering is different, right? So it's just a different color covering. So. <coughs> All of these, whether it's Bobcat or Cage Blue, um, they'll have three positions that you can secure your hoses to. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this hose block can go into this location, this location, or this location. Now, this location is a pretty unique one. It's I was gonna say, I've never seen anything. Oh, okay. Uniboom. Yep. <laughs> Where the, I was, I was the boom say. is on this side, so the hydraulic couplers are on this side, yeah. so it makes the most sense to run, run it, it that, way. that way. So um, this is, okay, hold on. So we got another one right here. This is blue, and this is the updated block, right? Yep. So that's, what's the difference with this compared to like some of the old ones? Like the one we have is the old, I mean, right. that's gonna be like in 2010, 11, 12 or something like yeah, that. It's old probably model, the old, but... uh, so we, those cast models, we used to buy yep. from Prince. Okay. Uh, Prince has millions of these things. Yep. Um, same PSI, this is just an upgrade to where we could put our logo in it. So we have oh. uh, a place called Force America build those for us now. Okay, so they just I like it. The same block. Now, there is one advantage to this over the old style. Um, it looks I, badass? Yeah, it looks <laughs> badass, but you can adjust it up higher than 3,000 PSI, but done at your own risk. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you're carrying big, wet, heavy loads, especially oh, with a 10 or 12 foot. To be able to angle? Yeah, oh, okay. Sometimes just the snow load itself will yeah. start to activate that valve and it yep. can be kind of annoying sometimes. Next question. I'm gonna call you out here. Where is everything made? Well, most of it's made in the US, right? So some of the nuts and bolts um, are imported. Yeah. Um, that's to be expected. I mean, yep, that's... Yep, yep. Um, all the steel is U.S. side. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We need. And you guys weld all these in Osceola. I mean, you guys don't yep. like, it's not from somewhere else. It's right there. Right there in Osceola. So in fact, our vendor base, so we don't do all the laser cutting or forming. Yep. Um, and then we outsource the powder coating as okay. well. Okay. Yeah. Um, but all that's done within like a 30 mile radius of Osceola. Oh, so, so local. Yep. So even the Bobcat ones then, or are those going to be somewhere else? Yeah, it's all, it's all local. really? Yeah, all done under the same roof. Okay. All right. Metal thickness, everything's the same. Everything's the same. Yeah, this is grade 50. Um, so we tout that right. a lot, actually. The moldboard itself has to be really, really rigid. Yeah. Grade 50 is also more rust resistant. What is that? I don't even it's know. It's a what that higher, means. higher grade steel. Higher grade. So it's not like 836. It's, again, it's like kind of like hardening okay. versus okay. mild. Just more so solid. Mild is gonna you're gonna have that pitting and stuff that's gonna impregnate the steel a lot yep. faster. Okay. How much of this is actually like hand welded? There's somebody there like welding it. Everything is hand welded. No, really? We don't do any robotic welding at this point. Check this out, McQuaid. Come here. Look at this. Let's come around here. Look at these welds. This is one thing I wanted to point out. You guys that have been following the channel, you know that PJ trailer I got, the welds on it were definitely hand welded to say the least. But look at this here. Ah, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's perfect. So to put a moldboard skeleton together like this, for instance, is two steps. First, we do the skin. We have that in a fixture. Okay. And then we put the ribs in place. And the guy is doing about 10 of those a day. Then it goes on to the next step. Uh, where they weld in the outer box for them. They put the center box for them in there. Okay. Um, and they're getting about eight of those done. Okay.
I'm still looking for stuff. There's gotta be something different. I don't, I mean, bolts, everything, yep. all the same. Same bolts, same steel thickness of the cutting edge. Yeah, so, so and, and this can get the advantage on it, right? It could potentially. So yeah. yep. there's no reason it couldn't. Could, uh, they could purchase that if they wanted to. Yep. Both okay. Both if you guys aren't familiar with what the advantage is, this is it here. So this can go on, I mean, this can go on any plow, right? Yep, yep, it's designed this, to be pretty universal. Yeah, this is the coolest thing. I am in love with this. Made out of a system of uh, segments and then sections. So a segment can be anywhere from two, three to four to five feet. Um, so right here, from here to here is a segment. Okay. As you can see, that would be made up of two sections. We took this. Oh, so the section is the floating piece that'll yep. move with your cutting edge. Yep. And then, and then like this one here, for instance, this from here to here is a four foot okay. segment with two two foot sections. And that just depends on what size plow you have. Size you plow can just you can make okay. up kind of whatever yeah. size. You know, half sizes are a little bit more challenging. But what we do yeah. then is we have a little extender here. We bolt on top of this, and it kind of slides out here to give you that yeah. six inches or three inches on each side if you need for a half size plow. Have you guys done any testing with? how clean this scrapes versus just a standard straight edge and um, how much less salt you'd use or anything like that? Has there been any testing for that? The results are visible. Yeah, you could see the difference. Yeah, yeah. you see the difference right away. It's like, wow, that part of the lot is a lot cleaner. Yeah, than, than over here. Um, and it's gonna require just that much salt. So a guy that's in the industry that is um, doing it every day can see when you, right away. Yeah, standards. you know. Okay, so we talked about the charcoal edition and the blue edition a little bit. We saw how there really isn't any differences that we can point out besides the color of it and some of the branding on it. But let's talk about the actual business aspect of it. How did this deal happen with Bobcat and Cage? What sparked it? Was it your team, their team? I mean, how did this happen? Yeah, it's a good question, Carson. Um, so having a strong brand, um, Bobcat obviously recognized that and I think Bobcat uh, desired more uh, market share of the snow removal industry. And so they looked for Makes a good sense. partner. Yeah, they looked for a good partner in the attachments, you know. Um, skid steers are really, you know, they're not, it, they're only as good as the attachment that yeah. you put on. And they're kind of the workhorse of the snow removal industry. Pretty much everyone uses a skid steer throughout the winter. Right? Yeah, well, the smart guys are using skid steers, <laughs> right? The smart guys, yeah. <laughs> so Bobcat actually approached Cage. Um, about so, a year so and a half ago. You. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's pretty cool. That yeah, it's just pretty a, interesting. a phone call, right? <laughs> of all things. <laughs> a phone call. Oh. Hey, this is so and so at Bobcat, and uh, we're interested in uh, learning more about your product. <laughs> so the, the call was obviously passed up the line to me. Um, yep. And then we worked out this deal over, you know, about a four or five month time frame. Okay. So legal like was involved quick though, four or five months for something like this? Or? Yeah, I suppose. Um, I suppose it could have drug out a lot longer. It feels like forever yeah, when you're yeah. in it, right? You're in a hurry, you're ready it. to go, you get the <laughs> like, deal done. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> yep. um, so we were both super excited to get this done. And um, and one of the biggest reasons why we decided to do this I mean, partnership, um, you know, it's Cage and Bobcat. It's not one or the other, yeah, you know, it's exactly. not just a co-brand thing, yep. um, but it's about the snowmobile contractor and making the product, the, the unique two-in-one attachment, yeah. more available, accessible, to, exactly yeah. to all those guys. You know, Cages. Yeah, we're a big brand. We're well known, but boy, we don't have the distribution like Bobcat. Does. Yeah, so. that's going to be huge for Cage too. That. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video now that you guys know a little bit more about this deal when you're going to be out there this winter you're going to see these charcoal editions and the blue editions side by side with each other moving some snow so mike thank you for the opportunity to kind of walk us through everything and point out the differences <laughs> so make sure you guys like comment subscribe let's get back to work